Hi guys, thank you for watching my channel. Today we're gonna start doing a series on moon through the signs. I just decided to kind of mix things up and try something a little bit newer. These are gonna be a little quicker videos, but I hope that they are fun and informative for you. So starting off, I would like to talk about the moon. What is the moon? Our moon is how we react emotionally. It is our subconscious feelings. It is how we find happiness and joy. It is also where we are sensitive. It's where we are subjective because it has to do with our feelings and our deeper emotions. They are, the moon is our impressionability. It fertilizes the imagination and it's how we find fulfillment in life. It's our ability to respond emotionally to other people. It's how we nurture and how we are in turn nurtured or how we would like to be nurtured. And it's our responsibility to take care of our moon. If we are not taking care of our moon, our moon can suffer. And when our moon suffers, we suffer. And this can make you someone who is more timid or shy or closed off emotionally. It can make your imagination more overactive. It can make you indecisive where you're really not sure how you feel. It could make you overreactive and very defensive. So it's very, very important that we know our moon. We know how to take care of our moon. You know, you go to a therapist and they're like, what's wrong with you? And you're like, hmm, well, I don't know. And then you, you go in to talk about your entire life and it's kind of like this really intense, almost degrading process of you know letting this person into your whole life and then they kind of just you know give you a couple pointers and some pills and it's like there you go but with astrology it really pinpoints where these wounds and issues can be a lot of times our moon is the main place where we can look to when we we want to find what the issue is moon in a Aquarius, you are someone who is independent. You are someone that doesn't want to be told how to live your life. You are someone who needs freedom. You can even be a little bit rebellious, eccentric, and unpredictable in your moods or your reactions or responses to others. Emotionally, you need space you need room to kind of do your own thing. You know, you don't want to be crowded emotionally. You respond in a very individualistic kind of way and in a unique way. You're not really concerned with group think or what someone else is thinking or feeling. It's like, you know, you have a pretty good sense of, of what that is for you. And sometimes that might not always be popular and you may offend some people, but that's okay. You know, that's part of your goal in this life. It's okay to express yourself exactly as you are. You know that you need to do that because otherwise you're killing your moon and you're not nurturing your moon. You need to follow your heart, even if everyone is hellbent on trying to save you or change you. You need to know in your heart of hearts that these people have the intentions. Your way of expressing your feelings or your life is, is uncomfortable for them only because it's um, unfamiliar for them. That's their familiar script, but that's not your familiar script. Your script is your script and only your script alone. Their judgment of you does not concern you. It is none of your business. That is very much an Aquarius attitude. and. You question, you're someone who questions what everybody knows, you know, it's like, mm, but do we? Like, who, who came up with that? Like, why is that? And you question authority. You're not someone who just goes along with the group because that's what's always happened. You're here to, to mix things up. 
You're a revolutionary. You're someone who nurtures others by encouraging their freedom. You need social interaction to feel centered. You're someone who, who needs like a variety of friends from different backgrounds who might be eccentric themselves or a little bit different in some way. Some things that you wanna look out for is being overly cynical as a way of coping with the realities of the world or of oppressive systems that have been around. You know, it can make you over cynical. So you wanna be conscious of that as well as being over intellectualized, never connecting with your heart, always using your mind and, you know, being too detached, too detached from those around you, including your friends or your family or even yourself. So it's important to check up on yourself on a deeper level as well. And Aquarius, I have an evolutionary quote for you by Stephen Forrest. This is part of your evolutionary goal with your moon in this placement. He says, I resolve to truly lead my own life, following my soul wherever it guides me. I do not need anyone to tell me that I am on the correct path. I know it myself when I see it. That is my interpretation of this placement. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Please feel free to comment below and tell me your personal experiences. And I look forward to being back on here soon. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.